a mythic rare. Return all cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Praetor's Council. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. <laughs> okay! Uh, eight is not that much, really, when you think about it. Uh, return all cards from your graveyard to your hand. Maximum hand size. I think it's very underrated. It's pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of good things about it. I mean, maximum hand size. Like, all cards are great. I don't like. I just don't understand. It should be worth more. I think. Uh, what's the price right now? Yeah, I think it's going for like five dollars. Yeah. Um, but this combo is good with a card that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, this card, uh, you don't have to pay its cost. Late game, you're all set. <laughs> just yeah, say. That's all you have to say. Uh, also in this set, uh, uh, hex plate golem. Really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Draft it to Hexplate Golem. It's really good. So people can laugh at you. You might as well put nine lands in your deck. Um, <laughs> that's an inside joke. Um, the ringleader, he's okay because he does give the battle cry. Um, but he's a goblin. He's a giant berserker. If he was a goblin, he'd be ten times better. Yeah. And he'd actually be worth playing. But he's not. <laughs> uh, Entangled Hulk, 5 for a 5-3 with Regenerate. The Regenerate cost is just too much. too much. It's not worth it. Uh, then we have some interesting couple of cards. Cats are making a comeback. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got the uh, Leonin Relic Warder. W warden. Warder. Yeah, it says Warder. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> Warden. <laughs> it's a 2 for 2-2. Two, two. When you enter this battlefield, you may exile target artifact or enchantment, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, when he leaves, return the exiled uh, under the, its owner's control. So, this is the one card that you can draft that will stop Blight Steel Colossus. Because other than that, you're you got nothing. <laughs> so, basically, what this card is really good for is if you get Journey to Nowhere. You can use him to exile the journey nowhere and get back your guy. Yeah. Um, but then when he dies, the journey nowhere comes back and can be put on something new. Yeah. And then we have the Kemba's Legion, which has vigilance and can block an additional creature for each equipment attached to it. If you start getting... I mean, it's really expensive to play. <laughs> it's a 4-6, but he has vigilance, so you can swing with him and still block. If you get that one living weapon that gives plus 2, plus 4, he becomes a 6-10. Yeah. Who can block two creatures? So, I mean, that's really good. And I'll let you talk about that one. Uh, knowledge pool costs six to artifact with imprint. Uh, when knowledge pool enters the battlefield, each player exiles the top three cards of his or her library, and whenever a player casts a spell from his from her his or her hand, that player exiles it. And if the player does, he or she may cast another non-land exiled card with knowledge pool without paying that card's mana cost. Um, I mean. It's free without the mana cost, you know. Uh, it benefits both, but I still I, I don't think it's bad. I mean, if you exile the the right card like Light Steel Colossus. Oh, of course. Um, <laughs> well, that's, that's a little different. Uh, I'll I'll cast this one cost card. Uh, never mind. I'll exile and get my Blight Steel Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it's I see it used for in the drafts. That's why I picture it going to be used for. Yeah. I should say. Okay, here's the next set. Uh, nothing here is really eye popping. I mean, there's two living weapons one flying, 2 2. And the other one gets X, where X is number of creature cards in all graveyards. So, yeah, that one's going to be really good. Uh, especially if you're running deck out deck. I mean, if you can get this guy out, he could be huge. Skin Wing's kind of. I don't know. He co It costs four and then six to equip. But it gets plus two. Well, plus it's two living equipment. weapon, so you don't even have to equip it. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it comes out as a two-two flyer, but for four. That's true. Yeah. And then yeah, if the guy does die, yeah. it's and then six to equipped. Yeah. Which is don't draft that card. Uh, Bone horde does cost two to equip, which is which is that's really, not that bad. Which is really good. So. Fuel for the cause. Don't counter, use that. Yeah. Counter, <laughs> counter and then proliferate. But it's blue. <laughs> Just go skip it. Just skip it. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk about that one last. Um. We got the in, infuser, whatever, uh, Velik. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a charge counter. I don't. There's going to be oh. two parts, probably. A charge counter on target artifact. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Next card. <laughs> uh, locks it in. Uh, Para. You say that. Partisan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Has Battle Cry three four for five. Not that good. Then we have an interesting card. <laughs> White flying infect. Get it. <laughs> no. Because nobody's going to use white in there. Especially, in it's in fact. I mean, yeah. white in fact, that's like the only card. Don't just have one in fact guy in your deck, I'm telling you this now. Does not work. Waste of space. Yeah, okay. And now, obviously, the good card on this page is uh, Glistena the Traitor. It's a legendary creature zombie elf. First strike, death touch. And whenever opponent, uh, the creature opponent controls put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you may turn target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. So, <laughs> this is going to work really well in combination with the card that, um, at, like, milling your own deck, like um, Tome, yeah. the Tome that mills five for one. This is going to work really well with that, especially if you're running tons and tons of artifacts. And you can just start comboing off of this with a combination of a few other cards that are in the set that work with the graveyard. First strike and death touch. Yeah, it just pretty much hits and then you die. It's not even fair. Death touch. Because the first strike and then bam. Yes. There's a couple of good cards on this one. Uh, and I can tell you it's not the first one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to skip him. Uh, we got the Spear of Sun. Where when it enters the battlefield. Tap, uh, tapped and with three charge counters. And then you can remove a charge counter. To add one mana of any color to your mana pool. It costs two to play. So what this means is that. You can pretty much use this in any of the decks that you're going to draft into, yeah. and just use it for casting double cost creatures like uh, one that we just reviewed. Yes, uh, <laughs> that's if you draft into that. That'd be pretty good if yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, if you can get that, that's pretty good. And then Rot Wolf is the next the good card, and it has Infect, and whenever it deals damage by Rot Wolf, this turn is put into the graveyard. You can draw a card, so it's a pretty good draw engine for Infects. It's also a common. It's I a mean. common. I mean, every effect deck's gonna run that. Just try to get four copies <laughs> if you can. That is pretty good. Uh, and then <laughs> you could say the name. Sangromancer. Yes, it, you can talk about it. Uh, it's flying vampire. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you gain three. And whenever an opponent discards a card, you may gain three life. Um, I mean, basically what vampires do. It's pretty good. Like vampires need another good card. I know they have enough. <laughs> kind of annoying sometimes. Yeah. Ah. Uh, All right. There's a good card on this page. Like, tell it's you definitely not Black Sun <laughs> Zenith. <laughs> tell you it's not this guy. <laughs> I don't know. I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Because of his art. His art is pretty funny. Yeah, his art's good. <laughs> um. Yeah. Actually, there's two pretty good cards on this. Yeah. Uh. So we're going to start with Naga card. Uh. Fagrin Marauder. When an artifact is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you may gain five life. He costs he costs six. By then, you you don't even care. It doesn't matter. And then next good card is Morbid Plunder. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. I know this this one that does one for but one, but I mean two at a, uh, at one time is better. I think. Yeah, I'd, it's only one minute extra. I mean, this is another card that combos off your I graveyard. Mean, one, two. Yeah. It, this is another card that combos off your graveyard, and just, you know, I, I think graveyard's going to be a big thing in the meta, the actual meta, not draft meta. And, yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see. And we got Black Sun's Zenith, since you talked about the other one. I'll let you talk about all of them. Uh, all these Zenith cards are pretty good. I mean, I think this black one and the green one we talked about already. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think we did. Maybe. The red one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the red one. Uh, put X minus one minus one counters on each creature and then shuffle it into your library. It costs two. It doesn't cost one, but it costs two and X. That's still pretty good. Especially if you're not running too many creatures. Yeah. You can you can just clear the field. Really disrupt your opponent. Yeah. It gets pretty interesting. I think that's the worst one. Actually, no, the white one. Yeah, the white one. The white one's the worst one, but this is the second worst one. But it's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of is. speaking of the uh, the not devil cats making a comeback. <laughs> uh, so let's start with what's not really good on this. Uh, Persist of Norn. Do not. Priest. And I yeah, Priest of Norn. It's it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> it's like twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. We gotta wake up at nine to go to this thing. Um, <laughs> do not draft this card at all. 
I'm no, not even yeah, talking about just, it. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> uh, then we got uh, Mir Welder. It has imprint exile target artifact card from a graveyard. So that's any graveyard. It has all activated abilities of all cards exiled with its effect. That is really. I didn't really see that card good. before. You didn't see that card before? I don't think so. Oh, that card's good. Yeah, that is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I'll just get rid of my Fauna Shaman. <laughs> okay, now I have a, a mere Fauna Shaman. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds not? pretty good to me. Um, then Brass Squire. I really like this card. I like the art. It's um, different. <laughs> this card is going to make. <laughs> oh my god. A quest, quest Dex. Quest yes, for the Holy Relic. Dex more ridiculous, because what's the one problem with that deck? Is that your creature gets removed and you're stuck with the Agentin armor. Not anymore! Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Attach target equipment you control, the target creature you control. Yeah. Not uh, only that, but he can block because he's 1-3. And he only costs 3. <laughs> yes. Okay, now go to your white sun zenith. I'll say my girlfriend really will love this card. I <laughs> uh, just want to point out Priest of Norn. It also has Infect, but I think that's all, the only two cards that are white that have Infect. Like I said, it sucks. Yeah. Uh, white sun zenith costs 3 more than the other ones with X amount of mana. Put X 2-2 two, two white cat creature tokens onto the battlefield. Shuffle into a library. It sucks. Yes. I mean, there's some things you can do with this. This, whatever. My girlfriend will like it. That's all that matters. Runs cats. Yes. <laughs> there's like a couple cat cards in here. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> I know you love this card, so I'll let you talk about it. But let's talk about the the Viva Vissection. Viva, Viva, Viva. Viva, Viva section. Viva As an additional cost to this, <laughs> sacrifice Viva. a creature. Draw three cards. Okay, for four. Pass yeah. unless you're running that cat card. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, then we got Eric. Um, sorry that the the Spire Serpent doesn't show up. Yeah, Not even really, why. really sure what it does. Uh, <laughs> Errant Recruit. Uh, Metalcraft, he gets plus two is plus two as long as you control three or more artifacts. I mean, he's a one drop. Yeah, I, I would I would draft him if you if you know you're going to do white. Try to get four of him um, with equips with living weapons. He'll be really he'll do really well in that deck. He'll be a three. And three in three the three. beginning, like if you get him out in the beginning, yeah, that's but, really good. Because he's the, I think he's the only one drop in this in this set. Really? I think so. I think so. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Think I think I, he's the only one drop. Yeah, probably. So. You'd have vantage. Okay, now talk about your friend. All right, a sort of piece of famine. Uh, I know I went over this in my review, but I'm just gonna read it again because I think it's pretty good. Uh, same cost of sword of body and mind. A quick creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from black and from green. Good. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card, and you untap all land you control. So pretty much, uh, just use all your lands <laughs> to play a. Good card, and then Attack. swing with your orthocopter. Untap! <laughs> and untap everything! Yay! Yeah. And then you Free a gem to Marmors! <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, there's not much else we need to say about that. Yeah, it's just pure good. Uh, nothing really here that sticks out. No. Um, the Raker is not that bad, but. Eh. Scrub Servant, 5 for 3 3 with effect, no thanks. I think it costs one more than it should. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> the Choking Fumes. <laughs> Put a minus one, minus one on each attacking creature. For three? No. Look at the top seven cards here. This is the uh, Methodic Manipulation. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put one of these cards onto the battlefield as, the, as if it has the same name as a permanent. Put the rest at the bottom of your library. We're assuming that means a permanent on the field because yeah. technically it's a permanent that has the same name as itself, so that doesn't make sense. Um, I feel like part, they should have worded it. Yeah, they should have worded it better saying that's on the field, but I mean... We get the gist of yeah. it, I guess. It's it's three. Yeah, it's it, not costs, that bad. it costs three, so I mean, it, it's good. Um, it'll be better just if you use that in your blue deck in real life, uh, hope you don't top a Jace. Mm. Well, you have a Jace. Mm. <laughs> Put the ah, island. Ah, oh, your favorite card. My favorite. <laughs> well, let's I go really over like the it. other cards first. Uh, we'll go with uh, and Might. Flunzer Might. <laughs> yeah. It has, in fact, Lifelink. Okay, yep. I just want to say this. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, good card, though. Yeah. Good card.